In this video, I'll be looking at the uh, ability to annotate work so that students can see uh, what comments have been made and how that works out. I'm going to uh, set up an assignment here, a new assignment, as the teacher dinner. This one I'll set up as an assignment that might be submitted by a student using uh, an offline package such as Microsoft Word. I'll call this homework six. Uh, directions should go in this box here. I'll say it's due later today. Call it an assignment. Uh, and go ahead and create this as a numerically graded assignment. So there's homework six. From the student's perspective, from Angelina's perspective, with a refresh of her screen, she'll see that there's now a homework six to be done. I refer to this as kind of a regular assignment in that she'll have to submit her assignment by uploading it, something that's been done potentially offline. So to submit, she'll have worked on something in some other format and then either uploaded it or she could, if she's online, she could create it here. But let's assume she's worked in Microsoft Word offline somewhere. We'll go here, pick up the Word document she's done. She can add a comment. This would be the student's comment are right there. And uh, she's go going to go ahead and submit that assignment. Back at the teacher's viewpoint, The teacher will see that Angelina's made a submission. This particular screen is, in my experience, one of the slower loading screens that one faces in uh, Schoology and may be a problem on lower bandwidth connections. Here I'm on a home ADSL connection. So there's Angelina's document. One way to make comments is on the right side. You can see Angelina's comment here that she typed up there. And then you know, this is where the instructor can make a comment. And I'll, I can also attach a file to this if I wish to attach some file to it. So as the teacher, I can post that comment. I think one of the questions is, what happens if a teacher works out here to, say, highlight a piece of text such as this and try to copy it or uh, draws on the paper, as I've done maybe here, uh, I've made a comment and it can be seen on the side here and uh, I'll highlight a piece of text maybe make it be uh, red uh, there's add note I think that's one of the questions that should come up suppose I want to add a note down here to second paragraph um, well, that's a style. Better delete that. Let me add a note. Maybe put a note here somewhere. Oh, okay. And uh, this paragraph uh, needs further work. Uh, Develop your ideas more fully. 
save. So I've got some highlight. I put a circle around the title. I've uh, added and saved a note. I haven't graded it at this point. I'm just going to leave it this way and see what Andrelina sees. Um, So let me take it back around full circle, bring Angelina back into her assignment. I assume that she'd need, need to find some way to let her know that she didn't uh, complete it. I can see the instructor's comment on the right side here. And indeed, I can see the circle and the highlight and the post-it note on the document. So these are all visible to Angelina from her account. So that's a useful and Angelina can see these comments. Um, and to work on the document, she'd either have to go back to her original or potentially download this particular document and then edit it in Microsoft Word. But these are visible to her as is the comment on this side. So those post-it notes should be visible to a student. Note that this is a PDF viewer we're looking at. I do not have Microsoft Word on this particular computer. This Word document was generated by the, was actually generated as an export out of Google Docs, if you're wondering how I actually got a hold of a Google document. So I'm able to see these. Um, I may not I don't know what happens when I download them as I cannot natively open something in Microsoft Word from this computer. So that's a little bit of what Angelina can see in a regular assignment. Let me go back for a minute to dinner and let me go ahead and add uh, an assignment. Uh, this time I'll make homework 7 this time. Write a position paper on plastic in the oceans or something. This time I'll go ahead and add in a, just a blank document. I'm using the Google Drive assignments. I'll set the due date to be 5 o'clock today. Category is assignments. And I'll go ahead and create that assignment. And I'll switch back over to Angelina's account. Back to the uh, open up homework seven. I can see the document in my document. I saw the directions back here. It's just a blank for her to work on. I'll go to edit and say, uh, plastic in the oceans is a significant environmental concern. So she's working in her document. I've opened it in its own window. Whenever she's finished, she can actually close that. That's shown here. She can submit that assignment. Say yes, submit. Done. If I switch back to Dinah's account and open up Homework 7, I'll see her file here in submissions and I can either make comments here if I wish or I too can open it into its own window so I have more space to work I like to do that often and then again I can highlight if I wish 
I'm in a full word processor. I can do anything that I would do in any word processor. I can highlight. I can add a comment. I can add a comment to the document. That comment remains attached to the wherever I put it in the document. So it will be linked to this uh, word concern here. It's tied to that document. Um, I can do anything that I, I would normally be able to do from a word processing document of any sort. You know, and, and a full editing capability, I can insert tables. I could insert some new drawing into this if I wished to do so. So I have I have the ability to comment. I can even do things like say this, click on that and say this word is misspelled. It's not. All that. And once I've done this, uh, I can go ahead and uh, unsubmit the document. That means to return it to her. If I go over to Angelina's account, uh, I've made some comments, but it's unclear to me that those comments necessarily show up here in her Gmail. Some of my students reply they are seeing comments others are not uh, and that's something I, I I'm not certain that they will show up but they haven't been showing up in uh, Angelina's account so I would have to send a message and I've been doing that through the messages system to tell them the, the student to go back and look at their document she can see all of the things I have done to the document uh, She's got it back in, in, the, in her hands, so let me go ahead and refresh this screen because it's now been unsubmitted. Uh, Angelina would have to have left the screen and come back, so her submit button reappears. You might have noted there was an unsubmit button because it wasn't due yet, so she could pull it back. She can open this into its own window again and see all of the comments that were, were made there along the side of the document. So... This too works for getting comments back to students, um, but you may have to, in both cases, you may have to separately message a student to let them know that you want them to do further work, that they need to go back and look at that document again and work on it. Of course, in the regular assignments, the first part of this video, that document is something they've got offline, presumably. In this case, the document is a document that they have in Google Docs. Uh, and uh, typically is online, but uh, you are able to work with documents in an offline mode to a with limitations. With limitations, obviously you can't synchronize till you get back online. But if you have a document that's sitting open like this, uh, and the internet goes off, you can continue to work on that document. And when the you get connected again, it will resynchronize to Google Docs. So when she's done working with her document, she can go ahead and uh, submit that, submit the assignment, um, as she did the first time, and it will be submitted back to him, back to Dina, who will, who will, if he refreshes the screen, see that she submitted it, and see whether or not she's addressed the issues that uh, he had with the that assignment, uh, with the. Google Docs, if you're trying to track revisions, you can always track all revisions in Google Docs from the version history. So if I open the version history, I can see who worked on the document and when they worked on that document, and I can see what they did and when they did it. So I can see the work that Angelina did, and I can see the things that Dina did. That's available for all Google Docs, a complete history with logging of who did what on the document. This uh, is a very useful tool for me. If I see a block of text, like two pages, appear instantly, I then know that was copied and pasted. And you can see that in that version history if that's happened. So that's uh, two different systems, essentially, uh, that, that I'm aware of, the, this one here with the Google Drive assignments, and the uh, uh, the other, what I think of as the regular system, the older system, 
of documents coming in this way uh, being uploaded by the student again with this screen here sometimes being problematic on a low low bandwidth connection you can see what documents have been um, if there's more than one revision it will appear up here in this corner and I mark it over here so if you that's about all I have for this particular video thanks for watching